Okay, so here we have our gaming station. We have our monitor on the wall. Nice install I've done before. That's all very well. <clears throat> However, now what has turned up but a second monitor that needs to go next to that one. So let's have a look. So this one lifts fits on the wall simply by lifting this off. A wooden bracket that I made and this bracket on the back of the telly. So the bracket on the back of the monitor is just a metal bar with two machine screws going through to the 100mm top vessel mounting points and some little standoffs allowing that to slot onto the bracket on the wall. Now I'm not actually having any metal bars like that to hand. I've replicated it on the second monitor with a little bit of wood there. Same setup, so a bar across, machine screws into the top 100mm spacing VESA points and some standoffs. Now all to do is to make a bracket that connects this one to this one and fits to the wall. Okay, so here we have the two monitors side by side. I put them up together, push them against the skirting board. So that top edge is a nice straight line. That's our point of reference for levelness. Okay, so theoretically on the wall, we want these two monitors to be positioned like this. Now, I've taken part one of my mounting uh, system. That one goes in behind that monitor. I've made a second mount. This one's just MDF, that one happens to be a bit of ply, it's just this one goes in behind this one. So there we are, so they've got parts of the brackets on. Now we need to connect this one to this one, and I've knocked up a bit of MDF like this. And this goes over the top like so, and I shall screw through here and here to join these three bits of timber together. Then it's a case of mounting this on the wall. So remember I said we've got a point of reference along this line. Now this manufacturing here and here was done by hand, it's not 100% accurate, nor is this cut out either. However, as we've got this line, point of reference here, we can ensure that we drill a hole in here and here and ensure that we get these level on that wall. So. I've marked here the center line between the two monitors and I've marked a point here 26 centimeters away from this center line and again on this side 26 centimeters away from that center line and then using the wall as a point of reference I've measured down to 22 centimeters and made a mark on this side where I want a drill hole and then likewise over here Point of reference off the wall to there to 22 centimeters and made a hole uh, a mark where I want to drill a hole. Now these holes here and here I'll drill and then I'll replicate on the wall level and when the two go together these monitors will be level and straight. Well that's the theory. Okay so here we are the two plates are now mounted to the interconnecting board and they now slide into the back of those two monitors. Okay now I've designed in a little bit of play so the TVs can be slid either or the monitors can be slid either side as required. I've drilled the mounting hole here and here and again as I said earlier the point of reference from the top of the monitors otherwise known as the wall, is 22 centimetres on both sides and they are 52 centimetres apart. 
So on that wall, I need to drill two holes that are 52 centimeters apart and level to one another at the right height to which I can screw that mount and mount those monitors and they'll be level. Okay, so the big reveal, there's the new box which is now empty. That is because we now have two monitors on the wall, all done out of offcuts of wood from the garage. <laughs>